All right, let's take a look at this guy here. Notice that that's positive and it's in the x direction, right? So this is right. And this is positive in the y direction, so it's up. This thing's right and up, so let's draw a picture of that. Okay, notice it's right to the right less than it is up, so let's see if we can reflect that in our picture. Here's to the right, now let's go up more. Okay, whoa, and there's the vector, right? So we had a little trouble there, right? So this is six and this is eight. Uh, let's find the magnitude. That's gonna be the square root of six squared plus eight squared. And that's 10, of course, because it's a six, eight, 10 triangle, right? It's like a three, four, five, only twice that, right? Okay, and that's meters. So our, we label our magnitude 10 meters. And then we got to find that angle. This is the opposite side. That's the adjacent side. Okay. And so that angle is, is a tan, inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent always, right? So that angle is inverse tan of eight sixths. All right, here we go. Eight divided by six, and that is 53.13. Right, so that's, we'll just say 53.1, I guess. Degrees. So make sure in the end of the day that you've laid, you've drawn a picture that the vector itself, even if it's not straight, it's an arrow, okay? Uh, you've labeled which angle you found, and you've labeled that angle, and you've labeled the magnitude, and you used units on the magnitude, right? Don't, don't miss like a half a point. Do all that work and miss a half a point because you didn't put the units on there, okay? I think we're good here.